Majority Leader of the House, Henry Okwarobo, who led the debate on the bill, said when passed into law, it would boost the economy of the state, which in turn would strengthen empowerment and employment for youths. Deputy Whip and member representing Igweben constituency, Ephraim Alwewesele, on his part, said that advertisement and signage remains a big business, adding that the passage of the bill would ensure strict regulation of advertisement and scale up internally generated revenue. Other members maintained that the passage of the bill would eliminate double taxation in the advertisement industry as it seeks to harmonize all levies on advertisement in the state. The power of a bill like this is all and welcome. It will provide policy guidelines and regulation for the development of a vibrant signage industry and advertisement in our state. The signage bill is long overdue. It is big business. In this period where the state actually is looking for money, I want to say constituents are fully in support. This agency, or passing a bill that creates this agency, will remove all this uh, bureaucratic order, thereby having the unity of purpose among the advertisers. The speaker, Marcus Onobun, in support, said the bill, when passed into law, would eliminate environment hazards and remove hindrances to visibility on highways as billboards in the state would be strategically displayed to add to the aesthetics of the state. This bill, it helps to end poverty. It helps to end hunger. It promotes health within our society. It provides equal access to good education for all Edo people requests all heads of ministries, departments, agencies, and parastatals of government to meet with various house committees to fine tune and tidy up the budget. Also at plenary, a bill for a law to establish the Edo State College of Education was also given its second reading. Majority Leader Henry Okorobo said the bill, when passed into law, would enable the establishment of colleges of education in the three senatorial districts of the state, of which Abudu in Orionwa local government area would serve as campus for primary education, Igweben for secondary education, and Afuze for physical education. Deputy Speaker Roland Asuru and other members also spoke in favor of the bill. It will help to create economic stimuli because so many persons will come to that area to come and establish businesses. In building these schools, we know that they are going to contribute to our works at all the levels to have them to be, to be economically efficient, to be scientifically literate and vocationally oriented. The education industry in the state is going to be highly sanitized and it then put the two states as a model very soon for other states to come and come. The bill was thereafter referred to the Committee on Education with a mandate to submit its report within two weeks for consideration under matters of personal interest. Deputy Speaker Roland Asoro notified members of the burial ceremony of his late mother-in-law, Reverend Helen Nosayaba Obarisabon, scheduled for Thursday, 26th November 2020. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.